saw the sand castle. Why is that you? The Macron is impressed, as you will discover when he eats you. I don't care. Soon we'll know more about the strong than their own mothers. Assuming they have mothers. I'll get back to you on that. Kill the human fool. Welcome to the TC Admin Tutorial. My name is CJ and I hope to guide you through the second part of the dedicated server tutorial. If you have purchased a dedicated server with Art of War and have ordered the control panel, then this video is for you. Equally, if you're curious and just want to know what TC Admin is, all will be explained. Report for immediate re-education and recycling. When ordering your dedicated server, make sure you check the box marked Control Panel. TC Admin will then be installed when your server is set up. Equally, you can send a ticket or make a phone call to Art of War Central to have them install it for you. TC Admin is a control panel which allows you to easily add game and voice servers, users, FTP and other important items to your dedicated server without the need to enter remote desktop. It allows members of your clan to have limited access to the facilities of the server. Let's take a look at how to connect to TC Admin. Sucks to be strong, eh? From the control panel or email that Art of War Central has sent you, find the details for TC Admin. Type in your server's IP address into your browser. A screen similar to this one will appear. Next, type in your username and password which you have been provided. Once you hit the login button, providing you've entered the right login details, you should see a screen similar to this. Oh yeah! Oh no! Okay, so now that we've logged in, we're going to create a new game server. Click on the create a game and voice server icon. It looks like a picture of a little joystick. A fresh page will load and you should be presented with a page similar to this. Now we can start to fill in the fields. In the box marked server, choose master server. The page will reload again. This is normal. Once the page has reloaded, click on the drop down box marked game type. You will notice that there are quite a few games to choose from from America's Army to Unreal Tournament. The only thing stopping you from loading and using every game is your server's processor, disk space and memory. In the following series of screens you will see most of the games Art of War Central supports and if it isn't on the list then give the technical boffins a call. OK, let's get back to configuring our new game server. So after we've picked our game from the game type, a new page will load. Next, choose the server IP address in the drop-down box. Again, all your IP addresses are available. Next, choose whether you want the port to be automatically allocated or not. If you don't, you'll have to provide the port number that the server will use. Here it's 28,960. Choose the number of slots that you want to make available on your server. Here it's 16 player slots, and decide whether you want the server to be public or private by clicking the private checkbox. The next two checkboxes decide what CPU you want the game server to run on. Some servers are very CPU intensive. Leave them both blank if you want to use both CPUs. If you're a remote desktop user then you may want to check the box interact with the desktop as the server will then pop up in remote desktop. If you're using different ports for your game server, then uncheck the Use Default Ports checkbox. Now you can fill in the name of your game server. Here it's called My COD4 Server. The next four fields allow you to enter a password to protect your server. Some of the fields might not be available. Here you can see I've entered the Archon password. All that's left to check is the Start Game Server After Creation checkbox and hit the Create button at the bottom of the page. You can safely ignore all the other fields. You have proved yourself incapable of following simple instructions. The Macron will eat you. TC Admin allows you to create voice servers with game servers. 
However, you'll need a master voice server before you can bundle a voice and game server together in a neat package. So let's create the master voice server. Remember, this server will be your main voice server for your clan or admin group. Log into TC Admin and find the server settings. It looks like this. Click on it and you'll be taken to this screen. Now find the voice server settings. It looks like a pair of headphones and click on that. On this next screen, click on the new server button to create a new master voice server. Now we can start filling in the details for your master voice server. Let's zoom in for a closer look. In the type drop down box choose TeamSpeak 2. The data center drop down box can be left alone. Next enter the name of your server, here I've put my TeamSpeak server. Next enter your IP address, this can be any one of your IP addresses. I'm going to use the root server IP address. Leave the TAN admin port and web ports default. If you want to know more about what these ports do, see Art of War Central's TeamSpeak tutorial video. Next enter the super admin username and password. This allows you to control all of the functions on the TeamSpeak server. The virtual server starting port is the main port that you will use when you connect to the TeamSpeak server. Here I've left it default. Next check the enable checkbox to enable the server after it's created. Move down the page to the billing API settings. You can ignore the first two fields, allow signups and service level. In the default server type, either select clan server or public server. Next, enter your default web post post URL and link post URL. Usually both of these are the same and usually they link to your website. Next, enter a welcome message which will be displayed when you enter the TeamSpeak server. Finally, select the codec the server is allowed to use. Usually the numbers indicate the voice quality. The higher the better. After double checking the fields, hit the save button. The page will refresh and inform you your voice server is ready to use. Any additional voice servers can now be made when you create a new game server. You'll notice a message at the top of the screen saying your voice server is ready to be used. They flee in terror! <laughs> Viewing and altering your game server once it has been created is easy. The following steps will allow you to customise your server to your own taste. To view your game server after it has been created, click on Gaming Services or the sideways facing joystick. Another page will load and you'll be presented with a list of servers, their IP addresses and whether they're started or stopped. Now click on the server name and a new page will load. The new page allows you to do all manner of customising, from changing config files to setting up Pump Buster. Again this page allows you to start, restart and stop the server as well as delete and reinstall it. To view a voice server you would normally click on the voice server button but because you want to view a master voice server the process is slightly different. First click on the server settings icon, next click on the voice server settings and you should see your master voice server in the list. Click on the voice server name to change any of the details on the server. This page is almost identical to when you create a new master server, allowing you to change the details. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this video. Tune in to the second part of the TC Admin tutorial, which will explain FTPing, changing your email settings and passwords, sub-admins, game switching and some other neat stuff.